Hey guys, it's Casey. Second video, same shirt. Um, I am coming to you today with my next melting basket for our collab. So for those of you that are new, welcome. Um, we are doing a collaboration with a bunch of people here in the wax community. And when I say here, I mean some of them make YouTube videos. Awesome. Some of them just comment on YouTube videos and watch them. Cool. Um, we have people on Instagram that post, that just comment. Um, people that are just part of Facebook groups that want to be um, part of a melting challenge. So our collaboration is just sort of a list of prompts to pull from your stash and melt them up. Um, and I've just been having so much fun. I love to have a prompt. It really focuses me in on like my big wax collection and like what, what I'm going to melt. So this week for the week, um, between March 6th and March 12th, um, it's pick a vendor, any vendor, a favorite, a new one, um, what you have the most of you can decide the only rule, everything you melt this week should be from just that one vendor. So I, um, this, that's Coco. Um, I have, um, done a couple of vendor weeks now with, um, with my friends in my last club. And, um, I heard from a lot of people that the vendor weeks were super successful because they really help gauge, um, the performance of a vendor over time, right? So if you just melt one wax melt from one vendor that week, it's hard to know, does that vendor perform in your house? Whereas if you have a whole week that you're just dedicated to that vendor, you can know about their performance. Um, also what's really helpful is that it helps us get through our stash of things from vendors that we either want to get out of our collection that we're kind of, you know, not purchasing from or that we want to buy more of and make room. Um, and so that's the category that I picked this week. I am melting Scentsy. Now, before you guys come for me, some people are not MLM people, some people are not Scentsy people, and that is fine. I melt Scentsy, I, I sell Scentsy just because I really like Scentsy, but I melt Scentsy because it performs very well for me, and I feel like it is a good bargain for, um, for the performance. So compared to other vendors, Scentsy can last for me, much, much longer, sometimes many days in a warmer. Um, and um, I really like some of the scents. And that said, since he is like any vendor that there are scents that I don't like, there are scents that don't perform for me. Um, but for the most part, the consistency of Scentsy and the availability. So, you know, I don't have to worry that like this thing is going to sell out because they have, you know, regular things unlike, you know, a, a small business. So, um, you guys know I support small business. I support, um, vendors, but this week for me is about Scentsy. The reason I chose Scentsy is because I did a really good job getting my Scentsy collection to a very manageable level. And what I promised myself is that I was going to melt, um, as I had things come in, I was going to melt that amount of wax, um, to keep my Scentsy collection the same. And so, as I've done this collab, I've collected new Scentsy bars, but I haven't necessarily melted them. And so this week is for Scentsy. Um, so let me show you what I've pulled. There is one grouping that I am um, considering changing out simply because the weather doesn't um, doesn't really jive with it. So that, that's the one I'll do first. So the way that I pick melts is I make like a little almost advent. I say like, this is day one. And this is what I'm gonna melt. And I do two for my upstairs, one for my open concept, and then one for my bedroom. Now I don't use all of the cubes, but I just choose a scent for upstairs, downstairs, bedroom. And so I have these packs, um, four packs for each day. So this is the day I may change. This is my bedroom melt for the day, which is vitamin I, inhale. This one smells like Irish spring soap. Um, I really wanna get this melted because I need to know if I need a couple more bars. Um, this is a new release. This is coconuts for coconuts. And I love when the front and the back are different colors. This is pure on coconut with a hint of sunscreen smell to me. These are the ones I may change out and I'm pretty confident I will. But right now I have icicles and evergreen. And this is just because I didn't have um, room in my like winter stash for more wax. And so I was like, well, I'll just melt them then. But it's 
uh, it's really out of season. And um, while I'm not completely a seasonal melter, I am a like, like icicles at evergreen is just a little bit too much for like the weather, if that makes sense. Um, so I'll probably change those out with something else, but we'll see. Um, so my next day, um, I have um, huckleberry sage for my bedroom. Um, and huckleberry sage, I've said before, smells like the blueberry um, strawberry shortcake girl. Love. This is a love. It was in my club before it came back. Um, sand swept is kind of a lim lemony, um, what I call caliche, like wet rock scent. I love it. I have two shimmer bars. Um, and this is like girly body care, like a little bit of a cherry and maybe sweet pea. It's good. My girls really love it. My girls, especially my older one is super girly. So she loves any of those kind of scents. Hendrix. Hendrix smells like wood and patchouli. Vanilla suede is one of my favorite bedroom scents. Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, and then I know this feels out of season, um, gingerbread hugs. I told myself that if I have something in my club, which gingerbread hugs is, is in my club, that if I don't melt it in the year that I put it in my club, then why is it in my club? And so gingerbread hugs is in my club and I put it in my club last, not last December, but the December before. And so I didn't melt it all last year. And if I'm going to keep it in my club, I'm going to melt it. I love this scent and so I am going to melt it and if I don't love it enough um, to melt it then I'm gonna take it out of my club so um, then I have um, white amber antique and this is a new release it is very um, to me like soapy man smell um, this is for my living room which will be vitamin S for soothe I'm a little bit worried about performance. This one does smell a bit light. And then this, these two I actually might take out too, only because it, this is happy birthday. I love happy birthday. But my mom's birthday, we are celebrating on um, Sunday and I got her Sunsy Warmer. And so I may take these out and give them to her as like her, she likes vanilla scents. So um, we'll see. Um, my next day I have Quiet Grove for the bedroom. It has turned a little green, but Quiet Groove is really good. I took it out of my club just because of performance. This is a new release, Apple Tea Splash. And this smells really good. I'm interested about performance. And then this is in my club, um, Cutie Pie Cupcake. This is like orangey, oh, orangey cake. I love that one. Like that's one of my favorite scents from Scentsy. Um, then I have Vitamin U Unwind for my bedroom. This smells good, but light, so I'm interested in that one. Casting Spells. I, I notice I have a lot of green wax. This one smells kind of weird to me. It's a little bit like, it's a little bit like green caramel apple, but the caramel is like a little bit more buttery than I normally like. And then I know this is out of season, but I have a lot of them. Winterberry apple tea, and they do tend to stain the clamshell, if you can see. Um, and... I love this. I think it can be melted anytime. It's like everybody like um, our Welcome Home has been in the um, catalog forever. This to me is a better Welcome Home scent than Welcome Home in my opinion. So, And then my last day is um, Aussie Plum. I haven't melted it but put it in my club just on cold sniff. So I need to know if it stays but I love the plum in this. It is bright beautiful plum so I'm interested to see how that goes. Um, Perfect Peppermint, I'm just trying to use up, to be honest. I have not been super impressed with performance, though the scent um, is really nice. And then this um, is Just One Bite, which is cinnamon apple. So that is what I'm melting for vendor week. Um, I would like to invite any of you who are watching this video to participate with us. I don't care if you make a video. I don't care if you comment. I don't care if you are on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, anything. I just love that our community has kind of come together over some of these collabs and like enjoyed themselves and shared um, this like little hobby that we have. And I just, I love that. And it's so positive and uplifting. So I really, I'd love for you to join. So if you want to join, please email me, please 
send me a message on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram, like get any of the information, reach out to me. And I am happy, happy, happy to share this. Everyone is invited. Please don't be on the outside looking in wondering why you didn't get a personal invitation. This is your personal invitation. Please, please join us. We really want to have you. Um, we love the community and, um, you know, there are so many wonderful people here. So, um, that is everything. I will start melting on Sunday and I'll let you know how it goes. Talk to you later. Bye y'all.